Recently released court documents have basically come to explain how the One America News Network, which is the right wing propaganda network that is less credible than even Newsmax, how they came to be. Now, if you're like me, you've always wondered, like, how do all of these little, you know, right wing outlets, these right wing personalities, they just pop up all the time. You know, I've been doing this for over 17 years now. We have seen them come and go constantly, but there is always a steady flow keeping these channels out there. And we've now learned through these court documents that AT&T was the one who gave the money to essentially launch the One America News Network. 90% of that network's funding today comes from their deals with DirecTV to be distributed on that satellite network that for the record is still hemorrhaging users, but they're the ones paying the money to keep the one America propaganda network in business. And they're the ones who put the money up and back in 2013 gave millions of dollars for this thing to get started. And here's what the court documents tell us. AT&T approached, <clears throat> excuse me, one America. And they said, listen, here on direct TV, which AT&T owns, uh, we've got seven, seven liberal networks, but just one right-wing outlet, which is Fox news. And we need more right-wing networks. So here's money, put your stuff together. We're going to carry you on direct TV. And then of course those carrier contracts going to help keep you operating over the years. And according to the accountant, at One America News Network, in these court documents, the accountant says without that direct TV contract, the network would have zero dollars, nothing, none. AT&T via direct TV, which they own, is keeping that propaganda network alive. I also want to call BS on another thing in these court documents. AT&T says you had seven, seven liberal networks. What are they? MSNBC, Free Speech TV which I, I don't even know that I'd really count MSNBC that cause that's still a corporatist network. Free speech TV is not free speech. TV is wonderful by the way, but that's, that's two. And you said you had seven. Hmm. Where's the disconnect? What are these other five? Are you trying to claim CNN, NBC, CBS, ABC, and what PBS maybe? No, that's not how that works. Those are absolutely not left leaning networks. Not to mention, you said you only had one. That was Fox News. Now you also had Fox Business. And you have pretty much half of CNN. This is despicable. AT&T is propping up pure right-wing BS propaganda every day. Every day. And the network admitted in these court documents, without this corporate funding, they'd be dead. They'd be dead. One America news would not exist without these AT&T contracts. So just want everybody to know if you still have direct TV, those monthly fees you're paying every month, part of that, whether you watch it or not, is going to prop up right wing propaganda.